Not all supercars are created equal. There is a special breed of track-oriented models that can make you feel like a true racer. And today's episode will demonstrate you the latest newcomers within this class of performance vehicles. Extreme acceleration, blade sharp cornering and mind-boggling speeds at the straight lines. This is what these beasts are all about. You are watching Automotive Territory Daily News. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications about the latest releases and let's start the engines. Brabham BT62 Brabham has been out of the market for a quarter of a century, but in 2019 the company is making a comeback with the sound of the founder Jack Brabham at the helm. Being a racing champion himself, he participated in the designing process of the track only BT62. Unlike the previous racers from this brand, the new supercar is a mid-engine two-seater which is brought to life by the company's exclusive 5.4 liter V8 with 710 horsepower and 492 pound-feet of torque output. The chassis of the BT62 uses what Brabham calls a tubular metallic architecture. The body is made of carbon fiber panels and further weight reduction is ensured by the carbon Kevlar wheel housings. The resulting mass is under 1 ton and the full aero package provides 2,645 pounds of downforce. The planned production volume will be limited to 70 units in honor of the company's 70 years heritage in racing. Porsche 911 GT2 RS The title of the most powerful series production Porsche belongs to the prodigious 2C GT2 RS. Its 3.8-liter opposite biturbo engine makes mind-boggling 700 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque, which are harnessed by a specially calibrated 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. 0 to 60 takes mere 2.7 seconds, and the maximum speed reaches 211 miles per hour. The car's hood is made of carbon fiber and the roof of magnesium, resulting in the final weight of 3,240 pounds, giving it incredible 4.63 pound horsepower ratio. If that is still too heavy, though, the optional YSX Sport package further reduces overall mass by another 66 pounds. The interior is trimmed with Alcantara suede, black leather, and carbon fiber elements finish off the sporty look. McLaren Senna and Senna GTR Conceptually, the all-new McLaren Senna is close to the uncompromising sports cars of the previous generations as it was engineered to achieve faster lap times. The car has carbon fiber Monica construction and is powered by a 4.0-liter V8 engine with two turbochargers and the output of 800 horses and 590 pound-feet of torque. With acceleration from 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds, it is capable of running a quarter mile in 9.9 .9 seconds. The series production is limited to 500 units, but Senna has also an even more exclusive track only iteration called GTR, limited to just 75 cars. The model is claimed to be more agile and aerodynamic, producing 825 horsepower and around 2200 pounds of downforce, almost 450 pounds more than its road legal sibling. Its acceleration and speed, however, remain undisclosed. Lamborghini Huracan GT3 EVO Developed by Lamborghini's performance division, the new EVO demonstrates the evolution of the brand's GT3 racer that debuted back in 2015. The car sits on the new hyper chassis, made from reinforced aluminum and carbon fiber. It has a carbon composite body shell with larger rear wing and an all-new roll cage for improved driver safety. Under this Lambo's hood hides a 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 that is sourced from the latest generation Huracan Performante. This engine is paired with a horror 6 p sequential tranny that sends power to the rear wheels. The company chose not to reveal its output, but we speculate that it should be at least 40 horsepower lower than the 640 HP produced by the Performante to meet the GT3 regulations. 
If you're a fan of performance automobiles or, on the contrary, would rather learn about the mass market models, visit the description to this video and follow the information cards. Suggestions to other informative episodes on our channel will be waiting for you there. Let's continue! Vandal 1 One of the most recent additions to the track car family is the One, the first automobile produced by the American company Vandal Cars that will challenge such beasts as Ariel Atom 4 and BC Mono. The model weighs just 1220 pounds, all due to its carbon fiber monocoque and body, and it comes powered by a 2.0-liter turbo engine borrowed from Honda Civic Type R and paired with a set of 6-speed full sequential gearbox. In the base modification priced at $120,000, this powertrain delivers 340 horses. But if you're ready to pay extra, there is a more hardcore version called the 1R that makes 560 horses. Lexus RCF Track Edition Introduced for the 2020 model year, the new RCF Track Edition was designed for the hardcore driving enthusiasts who require track car performance but do not want to give up the comforts of a luxury automobile. Compared to the last year's RCF, the Track Edition features a number of aerodynamic and weight reduction improvements, including new carbon fiber body components, ceramic brakes, titanium exhaust and a set of lightweight 19-inch PPS forged alloy wheels. As a result, the car loses around 180 pounds and clocks 0 to 60 mph in 3.96 seconds. Its power comes from an updated 5.0-liter V8 that outputs 472 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque. Though we do realize that these figures do not allow Lexus into the supercar territory, it still deserves a place in our list, as you do not have to be a billionaire to own one. VW IDR The sole purpose of IDR's creation was to conquer the new titles for Volkswagen and demonstrate the company's electric tech that will be implemented in the production EVs after 2020. It is equipped with MEB powertrain, which is represented by a pair of electric motors, delivering a total power output of 680 HP and 479 pound-feet of torque. Weighing mere 2,500 pounds, this electric supercar does 0 to 60 sprint in 2.25 seconds, which could be compared to the Formula E and Formula 1 racers. The most prominent victory under the belt of Volkswagen IDR is the 2018 win and the new record at the bike's peak. The high-altitude competition was not a disadvantage for the car, since electric vehicles do not require oxygen to operate. In the end, Romain Dumas set a 7 minutes 57 seconds time, which is doubted to be beaten by internal combustion models anytime soon. Ford GT Heritage Edition This is a limited edition model that commemorates Ford's 1968 and 1969 Le Mans winning GT4 racer. One of the available paint schemes is orange, blue and silver Gulf oil coloring, one of the most famous paint schemes in the history of motorsports. The car gets a carbon fiber trim, orange brake calipers and sits on exclusive 20-inch one-piece forged aluminum wheels. Its cabin is performed in ebony alcantara leather with orange and blue stitching that matches the exterior. As a reminder, under the hood the Ford GT hides a 3.5-liter Ecobus V6, netting 647 horses and 550 pound-feet of torque. This results in 2.9 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration and the top speed of 216 miles per hour. All in all, it is a truly remarkable automobile, which is proven by the fact that such a reputable custom car builder like Hennessy Performance actually refused to modify the Ford GT since they admitted that it was already perfect. Ariel Atom 4 You would think that a title of a supercar cannot be obtained if the model is powered by a puny inline four-cylinder engine sourced from a Honda Civic Type R that outputs just 324 horses. Well, if your car is Ariel Atom and its weight is just 1300 pounds, you can definitely expect thrilling performance from it. After all, it is all about power to weight ratio and 4 pounds per horse or 538 horses per ton is truly impressive. In 2019, the Ariel Atom 4 receives the most thorough redesign in 20 year history. Though the car is built on the same steel tubular frame, it is now wider for more interior room. The dashboard is all new as well as seats. 
with 310 pound-feet of torque, Ariel's acceleration is extremely vivid. 0 to 60 takes 2.8 seconds, 100 will be reached in 6.8 seconds, and the top speed is limited only by 162 miles per hour. What do you think about the new track supercars? Would you be interested in driving one of these beasts? Share your views about these models in the comment section. Watch other episodes suggested on the screen, like the video and subscribe. You've been watching Automotive Territory Daily News. We'll see you soon.